Is that a Blood Moon Rising? No. Yes. So this is strange. That definitely looks like a Blood Moon, but I didn't get the the Blood Moon has risen message. Oh, yeah. All right, goody. I'm, I'm glad I questioned that. So it looks like we can't sleep tonight then. Um, I need to go prepare, make sure I got enough food basically, but we're gonna be out fighting tonight. Oh, there's a st what the hell are you? What are you? That was like a zombie stray. There are uh, weird mobs that come out on blood moons. Oh, oh my God, this is so bad. This is so bad. Ugh, get in line! I wonder if this village is already compromised. No? Okay, that guy's alive. Let's keep him alive. Oh, shit. Dude, not cool. Get out of here. Oh my god, look at all the phantoms! Do you see that? Holy shit! Are you fucking kidding me? That's like 20 phantoms! Oh, hell no! What? Ugh. Whose stupid fucking idea was it not to sleep through blood moons? Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god, look how many there are! Oh my god. Slime?! If I die to a goddamn slime, I fucking swear! Is that an Endermite?! Oh, I think the sun's gonna rise soon. Hurry, hurry! Oh god! Ugh. Just as the blood moon fades, I almost made it. Ugh. Still got some cleaning up to do. Was that a Vex? Is that a fucking Vex? What? Is there a Vindicator? What? And the blood moon is over. God damn it. Rain and blood! Alright, so I'm gonna need to do a lot of terraforming up in this area, but I think this spot that actually happens to be right next to the village is gonna be perfect for my, I wanna say starter base, but this is really a more ambitious base that I want to do later in the season. I just figured I may as well get a move on on it. Um, see if you can, uh, you can kind of figure out what I'm going for. The hint I'll give is that it's a horror movie. I'm going to have a structure up here on the hilltop and a different structure down here. That's all I'm going to say for now. I'd like to apologize for what a hot mess I've been so far this season. I've been so distracted with all these mobs attacking me all the time that I've barely done any of the basics you need to do at the beginning of a Minecraft world. So I wrote down a list and I'm going to start buckling down right now. Thank you for your patience with me. What? No way. There is no way. Like, oh my god. I've, I've really been grinding on this project, I guess. Oh yeah, there's some Endermites. Yep, it has begun. So I'm right in the middle of moving to my new uh, starter base, which is actually going to be the basement to the structure I'm currently working on. And I think I'm just going to continue moving and just do my best to avoid uh, all these Blood Moon mobs. Wish me luck. Oh shit, what is that? <laughs> Put down my potato! Uh, the slowness. 
hurts. Safe. last chest we have to move and we're done with this starter base oh let's just get rid of that because i still want the chest that's in there perfect now we done see ya whoa are there two broken portals side by side why didn't i notice that before oh what Flint and steel, perfect. It's funny, I only came back here to break these and claim the resources. <laughs> I didn't know there was two, that's awesome. Who did that? Who did that? Hey, can you not? <laughs> Uh, what broke? Oh no! Oh shit! I'm at half a heart. And I don't have much food left. I should, uh... I think I should leave. <laughs> and welcome to my new starter base. <laughs> Obviously not much, literally just a hole in the ground. But it is an improvement space-wise to our previous situation. One last thing I'd like to do to do to declare this house a home. And off we go. Oh, please be good. Okay, Warped Forest. I can hang with Warped Forest. Oh god, no, 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 no. Hurry, 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 hurry. Alright, so that's working. Anyway, you may be wondering why I came to the Nether at this point. And the main reason is Quartz. I need this stuff so I can make some observers to automate some processes. Um, that's kind of a precarious location, so let's see if we can find some safer quartz. Ah! No, 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 there's two of them! There's two of them! I don't have any arrows! I don't have any arrows! Oh my god, I just punched him in the face! Oh my god! Um, might have been a mistake coming to the nether this early. <laughs> Without bringing any cobblestone or anything. Maybe I should, uh, I should get out of here. Get some cobble or something. Come back, don't you think? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Take two. This time with the gold vest. I like the warped forest because it is the most peaceful biome, arguably, in the nether. <laughs> All you really have to worry about is looking at Enderman. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, hell no. All right, we are still very ill-equipped to be here. So I'm telling myself I should leave, though. Boy, is it fun to explore. There's a basalt delta right here. Oh, jeez. Ordering the warped forest? That's not great. But, easy blackstone. I like that. I like that. I don't like these. Don't like these at all. Alright. I don't want to deal with magma cubes. Let's get out of here. Okay. 
Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> A part of me doesn't want to sleep just because it's uh more time before the next blood moon. <laughs> But, uh, you know, phantoms will be an issue, so I should certainly clear those. Ah, uh, another blood moon? Oh, what? It would be really bad to die this far from home. Absolutely was not planning on a blood moon. Oh, that's a village. We could... I was gonna say we could stay the night, but the whole thing is I can't sleep during a blood moon. Why? Wh wh whose stupid idea was that? Okay, I just wanted to pop by the village, against my better judgment, just to see if there's a leather worker house. This is a big village, actually. Um, But to see if there's a leather worker house, because there's a chance of getting a saddle. It would have a cauldron in the front. This is a handsome village. Oh, that's a leather worker thing. Shit. Someone just got got there. Ooh. Where are these doors being banged? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Get him, Gollum, get him! Do I have any blocks? Like, a gold block. It'll have to do for now. <laughs> anyway, I wanna go in here. Ugh! No saddle. Never a saddle. Oh boy! No! Oh, we were very, very far from home. This is not good. Um, oh boy, one of these would be great, but I can't. Let's, uh, let's just take an axe. Oh. I just realized it's raining during a blood moon. Is it possible for Jason to come out during a blood moon? I suppose we're gonna find out. Ugh! Where was I? Over there. Oh, Phantoms! God! Damn it! Yeah, there's my bow from last time. Okay. This is the spot. Oh, is that Jason? Okay, he must have spawned in from the last time I was here. So, if, oh shit. If he's already here, I kind of want to clear the rain because I think those phantoms from the Blood Moon might still be around. Sorry, my guy. Oh, see? There are those phantoms. They're in that just that spot. Oh, fuck! Two Endermite! Ah! Okay, let me quickly cross the river for safety. <laughs> Before we go, maybe just grab one of those beds just to be safe, because I might be traveling for a little bit longer. And maybe let's avoid Jason, though I do have the knife. I should uh, keep that handy just in case. 
I just had a revelation. There is a guaranteed way to get a saddle in this game. If you trigger a raid and kill a Ravager, the Ravager will drop a saddle. Is that worth the risk? Hmm. So I don't think I ever mentioned why I'm going on this little expedition. I'm basically just looking for a taiga biome and some spruce trees. So I've been um, just going around the perimeter of the blood ocean here to see if I can find any. And so far I've found pretty much every tree but. Oh, those are spruce trees. Yes, sir. Okay, I got four spruce saplings. That's pretty much all I need, but I may as well just finish the job here. Okay, and oh, actually, let me scoot that a little bit in, and we'll wait for this to turn into a spruce tree. Otherwise, if I get really impatient, I'll just bone meal it, but giant spruce trees are the way to go. Ooh. All right, could you help me terraform this, Jason? It's it's taking me a little while, and I have a feeling you're just gonna plow through this. Where, where are you? Where are you going? You're not gonna touch my chickens, are you? Those are my chickens. Yes, shows over here. Hey! Oh, yeah. This is the way to go. <laughs> oh, you're so helpful. You know what? Come by anytime you want, Jason. <laughs> that lightning's like, I will. Oh, watch out for the creeper. <laughs> what broke? Something of mine broke. Oh my god. I'm getting the nausea filled. I... What the hell? <laughs> What is that from? Somebody do Jason? Oh. <laughs> so you Oh, no! Where are you? You're not worth my arrows! You're not worth my arrows! You know, I'm realizing this project will probably go a lot easier if I just go to the nearby bamboo jungle and make a bunch of scaffolding. By the way, when I said it's nearby, I meant it's on the other side of the blood ocean. No! Oh my god. What the? <laughs> Where'd you get that sword? What? Oh! I don't even think I have my knife to fight Jason. Oh, I have it in the boat. I just remember that. Ugh. Die. Where are all these zombies getting swords? Let me see this shit. Smite? Okay. Woo! 
Uh, yeah, let's get to bed. Alright, let's just take a step back and see where we're at here with the build. It is coming along. Um, it's more than just a hole in the ground. <laughs> That's a big improvement. I terraformed a little bit on this kind of like plateau it's on, and ultimately I'm going to terraform that a lot more to look more like a natural mountain. And uh, yeah, the uh, exterior itself is definitely forming. Let me uh, bust out the telescope <laughs> or spyglass. Um, I don't know if you've figured it out yet, but I'm actually building the Psycho House from the movie Psycho. And it's a little higher up on the hill than it is in the movie. <laughs> but uh, I'm also going to have the Bates Motel down here as my villager hall. So I'm really excited about that. I was really glad to be making progress on my starter base. And I felt it was a good stopping point because I still couldn't get the broom out of my mind. I need to go find a saddle. So I decided to do a stream where I traveled 14,000 plus blocks out to find it. And things went really well. No! <sighs> no! This is world spawn. Oh, man. Fuck you, Blood Moon. Yeah, it sucked. So the next night I did another stream where I made it out that 14,000 block distance, roughly found the coordinates of the ancient city, and spent the stream looking for a saddle. Yeah, I see that. Good call, doll. And there's one in here, too. Oh, this is like Death Alley. Oh, my God. Oh. I don't know that that's going to do much since they're right next to each other. Okay. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That was right in front of me! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That fucking scared the shit out of me! That was right in front of me! <sighs> oh my god! It is a slow, agonizing, terrifying process, and I just want a saddle. And another chest I had not seen. A saddle! We have to get back. We have to get back. A saddle and two enchanted apples, two disc fragments, some good pants. Holy shit, y'all. Oh my god, I have chills. We have to get the fuck out of here. So, I'm planning to get out of here and take my saddle and my winnings and just go home 14,000 blocks away. But before I do that, I'm going to give this one last run and see if I can get one last echo shard to make a recovery compass. Oh, Shrieker. Where? Where's the other one? Quick, 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 quick! Nope, nope, nope! Oh, fuck! Oh, he's after me. Oh, I can't see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Oh, that's another shrieker. Many shriekers, many shriekers. Oh no!
I don't think I'm going anywhere near the right direction. Shit! Uh, so we got three wardens after us. It's not a big deal, but, um, I'm probably not going to survive this. Oh, so many, so many. Fuck it. Let's go. So I'm going to call it a wrap on the deep dark for now. Um, we'll be back eventually for that last echo shard, but honestly, I can, I can definitely live without it. I came here for a saddle. I got what I needed. Shouldn't get too greedy anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm piecing the F out right now. Okay, this is a big moment. I have been waiting to do this for all of Blood Rock. Okay, first I place this down, and then you can see I'm on it, but I can't do anything without the saddle. So I apply that. Oh my god, y'all. All right, ready? <laughs> and we're off. It's extremely slow moving compared to the Elytra, but it doesn't need rockets uh, or any form of fuel. And for early game, this is pretty sweet. It is a little unwieldy to fly, but um, yeah, at this stage in the game, it's kind of a beggars can't be chooser situation. I would, <laughs> I'd love an Elytra, but for like early game, this uh, this is a vibe for sure. I think we've about hit cruising altitude. This is actually kind of cool. I got my hand off the mouse right now. Um, starting to figure out how this works. It's kind of neat. Flying over the mangrove swamp. That looks kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have the bloody water. It's, uh, this biome was made after uh, that update came out. I think this is about world spawn point. If so, there should still be a couple of like blood moon mobs. Oh yeah, there's Jason down there. <laughs> there's some blood moon mobs. So yeah, that is world spawn point. We traveled all that way all through the night um, in what took me like two hours the first time in all of like what 10, 15 minutes. Oh, there's the shipwreck from episode one. There's my base. I have a way to safely and kind of efficiently travel through Blood Rock now. This is awesome. Okay, uh, landing, landing, oh. Uh, landed, landed. <laughs> <laughs> 